there, you pricks! Chase the Haitian dickhead down! Sorry. Harry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, now, now sit down. Give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a value sponsor who's... I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy Lance? That Knife After Dark movie may be number one in the box office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like new boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on He said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Out of my way, Kobe. Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Nominate to Alaska with the song, Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richards... What? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richards' salvation statue. But I digress and plug. Stop doing Don't that! Don't it! Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Now for he, if the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think it's very important.
down me for a date. You're a waitress, baby, not a megastar. Bring me some ketchup, honey. Some people just don't know talent when they see it or hear it. While other stations are playing this, we're playing this. V Rock. We're going to take a break. Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! You have insurance, moron! Sport. You're a dead man. Pressing the issue. Now, when the Europeans were done ruining their continent with bland food and soccer riots and arrived in the Americas in the late 15th century, the subject soon turned to morality. You see, Europeans wanted to colonize America, so they had somebody to make fun of. The pilgrims left England for the religious freedom in Holland, where they visited coffee shops, and after they packed up their ships with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they... Is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole, and at my weekly meeting my congregation has a potluck. You see, a casserole is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and bake it, somebody will probably eat it. It's like my book. You believe in your favorite sports team, then they get massacred. You believe in gravity, then it turns upside down on you. You love your favorite TV show, then the network ends it with a lousy finale. But you can believe in me, and if you believe in something, support it. It's one thing to love something, but if you don't shower it with money, then just don't talk to me. Communism, don't make me puke my guts out, please. Well, I myself love casseroles on Thanksgiving. And the way to teach your children the rich history of America is through theme parks. I just love Pilgrim World, especially the part where you get to slaughter your own buffalo and take home the meat, or give the locals the flu. This is no right, man. He's 
scratch. Even if Daddy is working late, again, we build our own spears, smear ourselves in dung, and then wait in a swamp for something to come by. In the suburbs? I bet your neighbors love you. How long do you wait? Don't you get arrested? Hey, mister, I'm married. Look at the finger. It has a ring. I've got children for Pete's sake. Stop eyeing me up. I wasn't. You were. I can see you undressing me with your eyes. Well, I tell you, I was a cheerleader and nearly a prom queen. And I could have married anyone, but I chose John. I chose him because he had a kind face and a rich dad. I didn't know he was going to cheat on me or embarrass me. I didn't... Not eyeing you up, but I am a little worried about you. How are the children? Do they enjoy school? Of course they do. That's precisely why I'm going to start homeschooling my children. High school is a cult. There's a group of savages that rule the roost and get all the girls and everyone else is picked on and abused. It happened to me and look at me. I'm a deranged mess and my husband cheats on me. I don't want my kids to go to a public high school. Instead, we have a prom each year in my living room. And that leads to my next question. People in high school in Chile are all naked. I've about had it with you, Barry. I try to be fair, I try to be kind, but you are a freak and a liar and wasting everybody's time. The organs below the belt are for reproduction and removing of bodily waste. There's no reason that when I go to buy a soda or a transmission, I need to be distracted by your privacy dangling about. Now, when I go to the store to buy an air conditioning filter, I'd rather not have to look at your moneymaker, amigo. I'm good. Come on, baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Stupid yeah. horse! Yeah. I'll chop your head off! Who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me, I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse! You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I Shut up! Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one.